Removing someone from the team is something very tough. We have been through that in the past when we bring up TAC and FNX, we had to remove boats and, and steel in particular. That one was very difficult in the past because we, we had players trying their best, we had players trying to figure out mistakes, but we just felt that our level wasn't good enough to compete and become the best team in the world, so we, we made those changes at that time. And this time with FNX it was a little bit different because we have been through the top and the problems we were issuing wasn't the same as the last change. We had to go over all the problems. We tried to manage the best way we could, but we just couldn't find a proper solution. And the team decided to take away with FNX and we want to try some, someone else and in order to keep enjoying the game. So for us as players, even if we're not doing that bad in tournaments, we're doing quite okay, getting semifinals and finals. We wanted the wins and more than that, we want to be happy playing. And lately, because of internal problems, we're not feeling comfortable, we're not feeling very okay and very satisfied with our progression. So we decided to take this move because we're not afraid of change. We think that to be the best in the world, you have to work hard. And you, if you want to stay on the top, you have to always want to get better. And for us, not only FNX, but all the other players, you have to think this way. Otherwise, you won't accomplish what you want. Uh, when FNX left the team, it was really hard for us because, at least for me, it was I can say that it was more for me. But I was playing with him since Games Academy, like two years ago, and we have conquered many things together. So for me, it was really hard for, for the guys as well. So we just we have we had actually five days to, to practice to this tournament with Fox. So we just practiced like 14 hours a day. So it was hard, but at the same time it made us like forget what happened and then just focus in the, in the practice. Fox oh, in position. Hello. Two, two, five game away as we come in for teammates. All they're taking number Lucas, last man standing. So when we took out Fox, it's because we don't have another player uh, available. Fox is the best player that we could have gotten because he was not playing professionally at that time. Uh, he didn't have a team, so he wasn't playing the major. And it fits pretty well because we speak Portuguese, and that's pretty important because we don't have to communicate in English. That would be a little messy for us. And Fox is a good player, despite being an AWP and we don't need this role. He's adapting very fast to the other things we need. Actually, we changed some positions with Fox. I'm, I was always playing with Code Zero, and now I'm playing with some positions Code Zero had to, to switch with Fox because Fox is also a sniper. And now Fox is, some bomb sites is playing with me, some bomb sites with Code Zero, so I'm not playing with Code Zero anymore. This is what changed it, at least for me. But it's fine, Fox is really, really easy to play with as well. Uh, he's really humble to, to hear, to, to, to do this stuff. He's always trying to help and it's, for me, it was easy. From Tomko, this could be huge. You're planning the bomb. He gets two. He gets three. Tomko, what a play! They are like super cool guys. They have a real, like strong spirit, team spirit. And I'm trying to fit in, just to play the the major. I'm just focusing on what they want as a rifler and supporter. And that's it. Just practicing a bit. It's a bit hard for me because I played with Op like forever, and uh, but with this days on bootcamp is going well, I think. Uh, we chose to bootcamp in Cologne because practicing against teams from Europe is always some always better than playing in North America or Brazil because I think there here we have more competition. The fact that the countries are very close and let us practice with good things, so we can play against things from Germany, we can play against things from Sweden, with French, we can play against everyone from Europe with good ping and that helps as well. And we felt that doing more boot camps was something we have been missing in the recent past. Uh, I don't think we did any special boot camp in the second semester on, on semester on 2016. And that's, we figured out that this could be something that we're missing for us as well. So we decided to do boot camp because this helps preparation to become better. Carrigan drops him and Fallen, returns back on, takes a second as well, and the third, that's going to be the quick scope there. Oh, the fourth, Fallen, what are you doing? 
my expectation is every tournament that we play is to win the tournament. Uh, I, I'm not happy if we got second place. If we get second place, I'm just happy if we win the tournament. So we are trying to to practice in the best way possible, and we are doing this. And I want to win this major. Uh, our expectations is to win, of course. But first of all. Our main goal is to make uh, legends again and then it's just step by step without pressure try to win the, the tournament. Uh, going to this major, I think there are some favorites. Uh, if, if I think you know the best phase right now is Australis. They won the last tournament and they have been playing a very good CS. They're very fundamental and very intelligent game. I think they are the team to be beaten. But it's a major. I mean, even the guys who you think it should be easy to play against, it's never easy. So for us, every single match is going to be a new challenge. Uh, we are going to be very excited to prove ourselves. We're going to try to get our third major in a row. It's something very difficult and quite challenging with the situation we are right now. But I, I think there is hope. I think there is talent enough in our team to achieve it. And we're going to work as hard as we can to make it happen.